Good morning, everyone. So today I'll be installing down lights for my garage. The lights that I chose for the soffits uh, for both the front and the back of the garage are made by Torchstar. And I, this one I purchased from uh, Amazon. Uh, I don't recall how much it is, but I'll find a link and paste it on here. But uh, they are seven inch, I'm sorry, they're seven watts a piece. They are LED, which is good. And you can um, adjust the direction in which way you want the light pointing. Uh, so they are three inches wide. Now, the reason why I chose this is because uh, actually the 3000K is mainly because all the uh, landscaping lights I put down in front of the house uh, are also 3000K. So on opening the box, uh, you'll see that it's foam, but then these are the lights uh, that are included, plus its own box. Now, these are IC uh, rated, so you can pretty much uh, place this directly into insulation. Um, you don't have to mount it, although it does have mountable um, screw holes where you can place it on uh, one of the pieces of wood or one of the beams when you open it. Okay, let's see. It has your... There you go. All right. And these are actually very easy. You don't have to use any twist nuts or ties or anything like that. You just cut the wire and slide it in. So, you know, you use them to close the wire accordingly. Now, you have to punch out holes on each side. Uh, I do have the um, the round nuts where you, you can actually uh, um, twist, uh, turn on and then tighten the wire, you know, the, uh, the gauge wire that you're placing through. So... This one is the connection for, okay, it's one of these lights here. Okay, so this one still has a plastic and you just put it in and twist, okay? So if I peel the plastic off, there you go. You can tell that you're able to move the light different directions and then you can actually rotate it as well. So, which is nice. The one thing I don't like about this is that they didn't have a glass uh, over the actual LED, but it's not like it's gonna get wet or anything because it's under the soffit for the garage. Okay, and then obviously you have your spring loaded so you can slide it through and then it will just lock on to the soffits. Another cool feature about these lights is that they are, are dimmable, okay? So I do have landscaping lights that are three watts, four watts, and they are pretty bright, okay? So um, I'm not gonna be needing too many of these in front of the garage because it is a two car garage, okay? Uh, but it's an added feature is that you can dim them as well, okay? And I do have uh, a product coming in from Amazon that you can use as a dimmer, but it's also Wi-Fi. Um, connected so that you can control with Alexa or Echo um, and I believe also with Google so I'll do a separate video for that. I already measured my distance from the soffit to the house and this is what I'll be using. This is uh, to drill holes through the wood. I got this over at Harbor Freight. Okay so I made my mark. It's about uh, five and a half inches from the front. And I'm very fortunate because this is uh, the plastic PVC uh, soffits. Because this is the end light, I don't have to punch out both holes, but more so just one hole. So with a flathead uh, screwdriver, stick it in. Just kind of have to go back and forth until it comes out. Okay, now that once that's out, 
Then I have this piece here. Okay. That way when you lock it in, it actually will squeeze the wire down. So you just have to unscrew the bolt there. I mean the nut there. And then place it however way. Okay. And once that's through, then you can screw it in again. Doesn't really matter which way. They're both the same way. And you screw it on. Now, uh, the main reason, so it, it stays intact, but also, you know, this is, uh, parts of it is uh, a little bit, has some serrations to it, and you don't want to cut the wire. Now, likely it's not going to happen uh, because it's like no one's up there moving the wire back and forth for it to occur. All right. But uh, there you go. Okay. Now it's just a matter of uh, connecting everything through and then pushing everything up into the soffit. So I already ran my wire. My spool is actually down there. Uh, and I'm pretty fortunate that the garage isn't finished or finished or I'd have a little bit of a harder time running wires around. Uh, once everything's completed, then, I, you know, fiberglass insulate and then she'd rock everything. So there's still some loose wires in the garage like that that I still have to tap, tap down um just so everything's secure but anyways uh i ran the wire through there and now it's coming out through here now it's just a matter of making the connections this makes it a lot easier instead of using a twist nut she can actually just strip the wire and then slide it right through and it does lock on pretty good i did make a mistake you can tell with that ground wire so i just clipped it and did it again why because i actually forgot to run it through i through the hole so but then and just very neatly tuck it in um again just habit of mine i will wrap uh each one with uh, electrical tape okay and then uh, tuck it in and just slide the box through into that hole at the same time connecting the uh downlight wire uh, i'm sorry the downlight yes the downlight wire on and then snapping it right into the hole i just made So now that the box, is, uh, bo the box is through as well as the light, and it's again, it's spring-loaded, you're going to have, well, I'm going to have this kind of space both front and back, okay? And so what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to caulk it, okay, uh, using white caulk. I know it's going to stay in time, but, it's, um, but I'll just make it just right so it's not that visible. If I leave it alone, then what happens is the bugs will get in, and uh, well, that can be a problem as well. Okay, so simple cock job. Uh, I was also fortunate that it landed <laughs> right between these two over here. Okay, so should be uh, fine. Um, hopefully the other places land there, just the same. Now um, also, you can also tilt and rotate the light, which is nice as well. What I did was I just opted for two lights up front because I do have the down lights uh, facing a good part of the house and um, have it right centered to the garage door. Okay, so when we go back inside, that is the wiring that's going across and I did uh, staple it down um, to each wood that it passes and then I, sorry, I have, to, I have the garage door open. Um, and then uh, have it come out from the, the front going towards the back. Okay, so as it goes to the back, then I'm going to be putting more of the down lights on the back side of the garage. Okay, so over here is where I'll be placing, and I think I'll just place one right there, and one there, and then one at the end. So it's not going to be equal distance apart because of the light fixtures that we have, but at least it'll be nicely lit in the back as well as the front. So um, I'm gonna get this part started once I run the wire going back towards this soffit. So now I'm gonna work on the back part of the garage uh, on these soffits here. And uh, I didn't really get much 
uh, footage when I was drilling the holes or boring the holes with my drill because uh, I was up and down the ladder a lot. But uh, one thing I learned, because I caused a little crack, it's really not noticeable, but I used the drill as if it was going in uh, the right way. And with these things, especially driving in through a uh, PVC soffit, uh, you want to go the opposite direction. So uh, that way, it's a, either way, you'll get a smooth cut. But um, when you go the opposite direction, it doesn't bite in as uh, aggressive as uh, as if you were to go the other way around. Okay. Now, um, obviously, yeah, you, ha you have to drill the hole first. Okay. Um, into the soffit by going uh, clockwise. And then once the hole is in, then you kind of reverse it and go the other way. All right, so I'm gonna start up the top part here, okay? So just like the front, I'm gonna measure uh, five and a half inches from the beginning, uh, from the very tip to towards the house. I already centered it. Uh, so this is the center of where the light should be. So I tied in the two wires uh, and used the, electrical, the black electrical tape to uh, make sure that all uh, everything is all uh, taped up together. Now it's just a matter of putting on the light. And then again, this is like a spring action. Uh, there you go. And then, let's see. So the way this turns is that, I mean, I'm sorry, the way this is connected is you gotta put the, uh, put them together and then twist it and that's about it so now you can actually push the electrical box through which I feel it there and then get the spring action going slides right up. And there you go. Then you can actually just peel this plastic off. Oh, shit. Obviously, I want to direct a little a bulb towards the house. And there it is. Okay. So fairly simple job. Um, it's just tedious. <laughs> okay. 